So here is one of my uh, newest acquisitions, a an, uh, Spectrum Analyzer uh, 8566B uh, from HP, uh, which is famous uh, for uh, covering the 100 hertz to 22 gigahertz uh, of all things band, uh, which you can get for a very reasonable price. Apparently, when they don't work, like in this one. Um, and uh, so it's the grand, uh, it's the big brother of the 8568B over here, uh, which only goes to 1.5 gig. Uh, but what I like in the 68B is that it had a uh, tracking generator that works with it. Uh, but when I tried to use it with the 8566, it didn't work. And a little bit of research told me that yes, there is a, it, it, it should not because the uh, frequency generation is totally different. Uh, so I really missed having uh, not having a tracking generator. Uh, so uh, I found apparently a way to hack one together, uh, and out of a uh, plugin, an analog plugin, uh, so at least that should work for the bass band. Uh, so I have, it, you need a little bit of extra equipment, but I think I have it all, so and let me try to see if I can uh, transform that uh, signal generator into a tracking generator. So, how to make a tracking generator for the 8566? Well, it turns out uh, a clever fellow, John Miles, uh, which uh, goes by the call, uh, call sign of KE5FX, uh, described a method on the internet um, to hack one out of a signal generator plugin. And uh, his is different from mine. He uses an 86222A, which is an older, actually more affordable plugin. Uh, a 0.1 to 2.4 gig, but I have a more modern one uh, that also is the same range, 0.1 to 2.4 gig. So I was wondering, hey, could I modify this guy just like he did and make a tracking generator, at least for the bass band? And I look at the schematics, that's his, that's mine, and the blue is the mods you have to make, and it's almost the same thing. So the idea is to uh, take out the internal tunable uh, oscillator from the plugin and replace it uh, with the input uh, from the local oscillator of the spectrum analyzer that comes out of this plug here. And then you have to uh, mix it slightly differently uh, instead of using the 3.8 gig uh, internal cavity oscillator of the plugin, you have to change it to 3.62 gig to match what's done in the spectrum analyzer. And out should come a tracking signal just in the right band, no 0.01 to 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, so how hard can that be? Uh, here's the 3.8 gig local uh, cavity oscillator. Comes out here, is input to the mixer, so I should disconnect that and uh, put the 3.6 gig instead. And here's the output of the YTO, so I should disconnect that and connect it to my local oscillators for an amplifier and out should come a tracking signal and then you can reuse the whole plugin uh, that has this you know, very nice leveling circuitry uh, and uh, power control and I should have a tracking generator simple enough let's try that okay so I've disconnected the local oscillator it comes over here and the tunable YTO and it comes over here and we'll connect them to the right places on uh, for the, making the tracking signal so I put back the uh, modified oscillator plug-in so that should be our tracking signal hooked up to the input of the 8566 
and then uh, the local oscillator output uh, goes through here so I have a little of a, a attenuation and a, an amplifier and some other attenuation uh, to make it come at the right level here and isolate uh, the input from the output and then the other plug here is my uh, local 3.6 uh, whatever uh, gigahertz uh, uh, first oscillator so let's I guess we just turn it on right at this point see if we've made a tracking generator so here it goes um, so we go this is only for the low band so we go 0 to 2.5 gigahertz and I guess we just turn on this guy Dunk. get it to some reasonable power level 0 dBm let's turn RFs on so uh, I guess uh, still nothing of course because I haven't turned on my local generator so I preset that one to 3.6214 which should be the right thing and well we just press the magic button here see what happens well you know seems to work it is not oh it pro yeah it's scanning so let's no scanning oh there we go I think we've just made a very fine tracking generator for the 8566 uh, reference level 10 dBm there you go wow it's pretty well leveled and I, I bet you the the non-leveling that's my cable it's a very large long cable it's probably not that great it's probably have some losses in it wow this is very good um, let's see if we can uh, reduce the uh, resolution bandwidth here There's 3 megahertz 1 30 kilohertz oh, this is a little slow uh, let's go center frequency 1 gigahertz and uh, let's reduce the frequency span to something where it goes faster let's do a hundred hundred megahertz okay and now resolution bandwidth 30 kilohertz uh, let's get 10 kilohertz 3 kilohertz so it's starting to be a little lower so maybe I need to tweak my frequency here there we go boom boom there it is there we have it uh, sweep time I can go faster there you go uh, I can go much faster so this is tracking doesn't need to settle okay let's see on we can diminish the resolution bandwidth, see how stable that is. 3 kilohertz. 300 hertz. Okay, I'm not perfectly centered here. See, oh. There you go. So I'm slightly off band and I don't have enough resolution here. I'd probably be better off with an analog uh, local oscillator as an input, but what am I complaining about? I just made a tracking uh, generator out of bits and pieces for my uh, 86, uh, 8566 up to 2.5 gigahertz wow well, we'll call this hack a success so I push this a little bit further I'm now at a uh, resolution bandwidth of one kilohertz and being very stable because basically I uh, 
slave my uh, local oscillator to the uh, uh, reference oscillator of the um, spectrum analyzer so they're now locked uh, which I should have done in the first place the um, so kind of give me an idea of what the uh, dynamic range we have uh, so I can cheat a little bit and increase the power here and go it's what 4 dB go up to 10 so it's way up there and now uh, if I take this guy off That's the noise floor. So we are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 dB down. Um, I could crank that one up uh, another 10 dB, not quite 13 dB. So um, I have 100 dB. And then I could then uh, distill the uh, 10 dB attenuator here. So you could uh, potentially reach 110 dB of uh, signal to noise with this hacked uh, tracking generator. I'd say that's not bad at all. So here it is. How to make a tracking generator for the 8566B at least on a, up to 2.5 gigahertz on the low band.